What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Tana action. Hope you're ready to get that compost pu compost pile going. There we go. Sorry. Been recording for a little bit. Let's get the chat closed down. Let's get the graveyard squared up. Now, as far as opening hand goes, we have Scalding Tarn. We have Naya Panorama, Goblin Bombardment. We have a really nice little little assortment of enchantments. If we hit our third land drop, we'll be online for Cultivate. Yeah, let's go and keep on this one. I like Betrothed. We haven't got to, I haven't got to play with that yet. That's a pretty fun little card for the deck. It'd be a good way for us to kind of talk about it. Let's get Tana back up. There we go. It's Tana and the Saplings versus Kozilek, the Butcher of Truth. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's go for the Scalding Tarn. That sounds pretty good. Let's get the Scalding Tarn down. Let's go ahead and crack. Let's grab the, um, we have that cycle land in here. Let's just go and grab that. That way we don't draw into it and it has to come into play tap. So, Shelter Thicket, put it into play tap. Anything else? Now we're going to go and pass the turn. We are playing Tana, the Blood Sower. She has Trample. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1 1 green sapling creature tokens. Playing against Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. I'll cover that in a sec. Uh, Kessig Wolf Run, awesome. Let's go ahead and get the Naya Panorama down. Do we need to, Yeah, kind of like have, we need uh, access to another green source. Let's go ahead and go for the um, Naya Panorama. Do we want to go for Goblin Bombardment at this one? No. Or do we want to have access to double green? We're not under any sort of pressure right now to have access. Yeah, let's just go Goblin Bombardment. Let's get that down. I thought about cracking the the uh, Naya Panorama to get a forest down, but uh, I like going for Goblin of Marmot. That way, if we do get online with the uh, Tana connecting and getting those sapling tokens, we'll be in a good spot. Okay, Rogue's Passage. Man, we're just drawing all of our utility lands. Uh, let's go to get down the uh, Keswick Wolf Run. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, Keswick Wolf Run. Let's go for Cultivate. So we're looking at green. And then let's go ahead and go probably forest and the mountain on this one. A little even split. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the forest onto the battlefield. Mountain goes into the hand. Anything else we need? No, we're going to go and pass turn. Okay, now let's put this in a spot next turn to where we can go Tana, and then we can get down the Dragon Mantle, draw a little extra card, and then next turn go uh, Betrothed the Fire. Start swinging in, sacking those creatures. Oh, we need to cover Kozilek. We're playing against Kozilek, the Butcher of Truth. Whenever he, uh, whenever you cast him, draw four cards. He has Annihilator 4, and then whenever Kozilek's put in a graveyard, uh, shuffle. So, no reanimator shenanigans for you. Let's go ahead and get down uh, Tana... So we've got uh, green and red, colorless. Let's go for the mountain. Let's get that down. Let's go for the dragon's mantle. We're going to be able to draw a card off, with the, with, off this one, which is always nice. Also a little mana. Ooh, worldly tutor. Okay, let's go ahead and pass the turn. There's nothing we need to do. We can, during our upheap, go for a Grothian Enchantress, and then go for the Betrothed the Fire, draw an extra card. Uh, we do have a tap land in the Grill Guild Gate, or if we want to go for the Fires of Yavima, we can go for that. Ooh, Worm Coil Engine. That is, uh... That definitely kind of stops us in our tracks. We'll see what they go for, though. Maybe we can get a, connect with a few sapling tokens and go for a Goblin Bombardment, so... We ain't scared. Let's go and go for Let's try and get our Enchantress engine up and going. That That's kind of one of the key factors. So let's go for World of the Tutor. Now if we go for Xenagos, plus four. Let's go for a Grothian Enchantress. I like that a little bit better. Let's go for We just want to get the card draw going. That's what matters. Okay. Let's get the Enchantress down. Nice lady. Kessig Wolf Run. Let's go ahead and get the Grill Guild Gate down. Because at this point, we want to get as much uh, fire as... Not fire. <laughs> as much... Uh, card draws we can get going. Um, let's go ahead and go for the uh, Betrothed the Fire. Let's put it on Tana. We're going to draw another card. You know, at this point, we're kind of looking for um, Ancestral Mask or something like that. That'll give us a nice little bonus. One of our totem pieces of armor where we can just really deal some damage. Ooh, Heroic Intervention. That's okay. And anything else we're going to go for? No, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Alright, so next turn, we at least have Fires of Yavi Mai. We can get that down. Our creature's going to have haste. Um, oh, and actually, let's cover Betrothed. Really cool card for the deck. So, Enchant Creature, it's an aura. Sacrifice an untapped creature. Enchant enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Then sack the Enchanted Creature. Creatures you control get plus two until end of turn. Awesome card for the deck. This is something that, uh, when I was looking around for auras, red, green, and auras, um, I came across this, and I was like, oh my gosh, where have you been? This is perfect. This is what makes magic so cool to me, is that we have Betrothed of fire, you know, whatever set this is from, it's an old card. But this is so perfect in a Tana deck because it allows us to sacrifice the creatures to make Tana really big. Then at the same time, uh, we can sacrifice Tana to give, you know, all of our saplings a nice little plus two bonus. So it's just a really cool value card. Okay, see so if we got the worm coil swinging in. We do. And then a scuttling doom engine can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. When it dies, deal six damage to a target opponent. We've got an exalted trigger coming across. Seven seven. All right, now if we can just get the uh, we just needed to connect on some, uh, 
get the damage going. We can tap out for a really big Keswick Wolf run. Uh, that's going to be us completely tapping out, though. And the, but we do have Heroic Intervention. It's but pushing past six. Oh, ho, 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 talked it up. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the uh, let's get the Rogue's Passage down. Let's go for the Ancestral Mask. <laughs> I love talking up cards. It always feels so good. And they tap for one more. Either way, we're going to have to go for Rogue's Passage. Um, but we're going to one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, we, we can get past that. Let's tap the, uh, the Naya Panorama. We're going to draw another card. Oh, yeah. Need to fight those Worm Coil Engines. Rise of Flourishing. Oh, 8-8 eight, eight body. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's, who's out there? Let's go for the... Uh, there we go. Tap for green. Get down the, have some nice little haste. Creatures you control, we can sack it, get a nice little bonus. Oh, and then we have the Force Adaptation, so we can go for that next turn. Okay, so we've got a 10-10 body coming across. If they want to block, we can. If not, we're going to be able to connect, get some nice little uh, get some nice little sapling tokens going. Let's go for it. And then we get into spots where we can start uh, sacking them, and then, uh, oh yeah, Scuttling Doom Engine. <laughs> Jumping in the way of Tana. Get out of here. Six damage target opponent. We're okay with that. We're going to have some nice little chump blockers, though. And then we get into spots where hopefully we can uh, kind of outrace the... Uh, the lifelink engine of uh, the worm coil engine. Okay. Anything else now? We're going to go and pass there and let them do their thing. But you can see where this is a really fun board state. You know, we've got Tana on there. We have the Ancestral Mass, which is just absolutely nuts. Can't believe we talked it up. Love that. And then we have Betrothed, so we can start sacrificing our creatures to give them bonus. Right now, we're looking at plus 8, plus 0. So we're looking at 18 coming across, which is actually 22 uh, in commander damage. So if we want to do that, we could do that. But more than likely, we're going to see a worm coil block. Uh, Metalwork Colossus. All right, we're going to have to fight past that one. Luckily, we have at least two more in, uh, enchantments on the battlefield that we can really pump Tana up. But uh, to sit there and have the Metalwork Colossus be scared of Tana, man, it feels really good. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right, now let's do a little bit of Kozilek check, too. But, you know, either way, we've got Annihilator 4, so that's... We just keep connecting with Tana on these... Uh, yes, the Worm Coil Engine is being held at bay. Okay. Cryptolite, uh, get the, uh, the right. Let's go ahead and go for... How do we want to sequence this? A lot of stuff to do. Let's go at Force Adaptation. I'm going to draw another card. It's going to pump us up by two. We're going to get the right down. And then we still have Rogue's Passage to make it unblockable. That's going to give us a lot of mana to work with. We're going to connect for 12. Let's. Do we want to go for the Rogue's Passage? That's going to be us tapping out for four, swinging in. They can swing. Yeah, and then we'll connect with a bunch. Yeah, let's go and go for the Rogue's Passage. Make Tana unblockable. We could get a few more enchantments down. We could go for the the right, but um, I think at this point, we just kind of want to um, just want to come in hot. Now, we do have 12, 16, and actually, I think we can close it out. If we start, we've got uh, 12, and we start sacking these... Yeah, opponent scoops it up. Yeah, so we have Rogue's Passage, start sacking these saplings to give them a nice little bonus. This is where, like, you know, this is a short game, technically, and I kind of want to, uh, you know, when I played the, the Tana deck, but, you know, facing down against Kozilek. You know, eventually Kozilek's going to come down, it's going to get pretty gnarly. So, but, uh, hey, look at Tana holding her own against all these little uh, cuddleless uh, creatures over there, so... But yeah, we had the win with these saplings. So we have Betrothed. Um, we start sacking your creatures. We're going to get plus 8. That's 20. That's going to be 24 total commander damage. Gave an unblockable. And uh, there we go. Hey, that's part of winning the game, though. But if we didn't, I thought about not winning and just making a bunch of sapling tokens. But uh, <laughs> that's just us playing with, with, our, with our prey at that point. So, all right, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Tana composting. Hope you're ready to get your composting going. We are. Ooh, playing as Karloff of the Ghost Council, the one and only. Now, as far as opening hand goes, we've got Nature's Lore, Kadoma's... Yeah, I like this. We'll keep on this one. A little bravado for a nice little Tana. Make sure she's nice and big. Okay. Let's go ahead and... What are we going to lead off? We're just going to lead off with the Sheltered Thicket. Get that down. Anything else now? We're going to go and pass the turn. We are playing Tana, the Blood Sower. She has trampled whatever she deals combat damage to a player. Create that mini 1-1 one, one green sapling creature tokens. Playing against Karlov of the Ghost Council. Whenever you gain life, put 2 plus 1 counters on it. Then for uh, White Black, remove 6 counters from Karlov. Exile target creature. Let's go ahead and go for the, the Rogue's Passage. Let's go for Nature's Lore. Helps if we tap for green on that one. Search our library for a forest card. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, Stomping Ground. That sounds good. Not going to pay two life. Uh, yeah, we're not really wanting to put Spider Umbra on Soul Warden. All right. So now that our opponent does have Soul Warden out there, 
whenever a creature enters the battlefield, or another creature, that's going to be a little bit of a bummer for us. So we're going to have to figure out a way to kind of deal with Soul Warden once we keep getting all these sapling tokens. So, But if we go for Bravado, that might be a nice little way for us to go for that. Uh, let's go ahead and what are we going to lead off with? Get the Kessig Wolf Run down. We can go for Tana instead of Reach, and the next time we have Madcap and Canopy cover. I like that. Then we can try and outrace Karlov. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's get the Kessig Wolf Run down. Let's go Tana. Looking at red, green, colorless, colorless. And then we have both of the, like, our main important utility lands we have on the battlefield, which is really nice. The Kessig Wolf Run and the Rogue's Passage. Okay, next turn. We have Canopy Cover. We have Madcap Skills. Uh, more than likely, we're going to go for Canopy Cover. It's going to give our creature Hexproof. Um, it can't be, basically, well, it essentially gives it Hexproof. It can't be blocked except by creatures with Flying or Reach, and then Enchanted Creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent controls. So, it's going to allow us to get around the Karloff activation. So, hopefully, we can kind of outrace the... Uh, the plus counter, the plus one counters on there. It's gonna be, this should be an interesting little match. Sort of body and mind. Yeah, let's go and go enchantments on this one. I like this. So let's go to go a canopy cover. See if our opponent's got path to exile or swords to plowshare with that last white mana. We're holding our breath. Holding, holding, holding the hold formation. Come on. Okay, there we go. Whew. Let's get madcap skills on there. Helps if we tap for red on this one. There we go. Oh, man, whenever you're going for the, like, protection piece on your commander or something like that, I'm always just like, <laughs> do we make it? Feels like we're in Jurassic Park, just like, uh, are we going to get eaten by the Velociraptors? All right, swinging it for five. Uh, we're going to connect on five, put them down to 27. And that's going to be five beautiful little sapling tokens out of the compost pile. And the next time we can go for Bravado. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature that you control. And then we get into spots where we don't have to worry about the life gain from Soul Warden. We can simply go for a combat damage win uh, with Tana, and we'll be in a good spot. Okay, got the Tana trigger. That's going to be five uh, little saplings on the battlefield. Oh, yes, always yield to the Soul Warden. Always yield to Karlov. Okay, <laughs> that egg, that uh, that egg, <laughs> that got out of hand. That escalated really quickly. Karlov. Now we have a two-two to fourteen-fourteen. Anything else? No. Let's go and pass the turn. Okay. So, what they can do is we can go for some activations on Karlov. He's going to be really big. Um, if we don't want to lose the commander damage, but luckily, you know, there's not another black source, so they can exile target creature, remove six counters, get rid of one of the sapling tokens, but Karloff doesn't have trample. That's the important thing right now. So we're going to have tons of little sapling chump blockers so Tana can uh, take care of the bad evil people coming out to the forest. So, yeah, I don't know. I like Tana. She's pretty cool. This is, yeah, if you're not familiar, oh, yeah, let me cover with the deck dust. So this is a... Um, we got Lightning Greaves on, probably on Karloff. Yeah, this is a Voltron Enchanter style deck. If you, know, if you don't know what Voltron means, Voltron is you're using one creature to build into one really big creature. We have a lot of enchantment pieces in here because we're running a lot of Enchantress style, uh, Enchantress style, um, Card draw engines. So we get down a growth in enchanters. Every time we cast an enchantment, we're going to be able to draw an additional card. So it's a good way to kind of pair building our creature with making it a little bit bigger. So pretty nice. Let's go to get the mountain down. Let's go for the reach, and then we can go for spider umbra. Spider umbra on that. Yeah, let's go for that. Actually, let's go spider umbra first on Tana. Plus one has reach, and then totem armor. Let's go for Kadoma's reach. We're going to be able to grab, probably go ahead and grab another forest. And then Mountain. We technically could have gone for Bravado, but yeah, this, sometimes these games get out of hand pretty quick. Let's go ahead and grab a... Do we want to grab another green source? Yeah, let's grab one more... No, we already have a force. We'll grab another Mountain. We do have some enchantments that um, strictly just dump. Like you can dump all your red mana into. Okay. And then right now, nothing has reach. Yeah, let's go and swing in for six with Tana. Yeah, we could have got down Bravado. Uh, we can go for that next turn. We get into the spot to where... Um, you know, it, sometimes it's kind of easy to win with commander damage. It's very much one of those games where I'm just like, hey, let's just make some saplings. That's kind of what I want to go for. So we're out here tending to the sapling garden, making a really big Karloff. 26-26 Karloff. Anything else? No, we're going to go past there. Okay. <laughs> Love it. And then <laughs> just Karloff is just sitting there with all these counters, and he can't do anything about it. Okay, so we're at 11 total commander damage. We have 11 total creatures, 12 if you count Karloff, for each, no, excuse, for each other creature that you control. So we're going to get... Uh, 17, I think. That'll be 11. Um, yeah, there should be 17 coming across, which should be just enough for commander damage. Now, here's the spot where you just kind of want to keep swinging in, making some sapling tokens. That sounds good to me. Um, I just want to keep making sapling tokens. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's fun to me. 
We also have Keswick Wolfram to tap and dump out for. Um, look at one, two, we'll tap out for three, that'll be nine. Puts him right at 20. But if you go for Bravado, oh, let's just go for Bravado. Let's see how big, uh, see how big uh, the uh, Tana is. I like, I like seeing that. We haven't got to cast Bravado yet. 17, 14. Oh, yeah. Our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> we're going to be able to get through on commander damage. I just kind of want to see what it would be out there. But you can see we're going Voltron with Tana is a lot of fun, especially Bravado. Uh, this is one of the key enchantment pieces in the deck. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature that you, each other creature that you control. And it's a really good way for us to utilize all of our sapling creature tokens. So, look at that. Nice little spread. Madcap skills, canopy cover, spider umbra, Bravado. Tano, you're looking extra, extra special tonight. So, all right, everybody, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.